Hello friends and welcome back to the channel for war number 10 of season 50. Today we have a matchup against AOH. This war, very important for us because if we win and the number 4 alliance loses, uh, we actually get locked into podium which is pretty cool. Onslaught returning to the team along with Viv Vision, still chasing that perfect fight with her and Black Hat rounding off the team. Let's jump right in. First off we are going to be on path number 6 in section 1. And we have a Void here on node number 6. This is a very, very simple fight, and quick fight for that matter, with Black Cat. So her defensive ability accuracy reduction will prevent the buffs from the spiked armor node from triggering. So the damage back that we'll be taking, very, very minimal in this fight. And I think even when the buffs are up, um, I'm pretty sure she can fail the damage back. Uh, you can see that we're not getting uh, damage back on every hit there. Other than that, it's just don't get hit. Uh, we've got plenty of bleeds here, and I'm just going to combo right into the special two. Doesn't matter which effect we get because the special two is going to kill outright and uh, child's play, as Black Cat says right there. All right, next up we have an Ebony Maw here on Node 15. Going to go in here with Onslaught. I think I had Titania assigned here in an earlier version of the plan, but Onslaught is uh, just as as good of an option here. So the only thing you really want to pay attention to is that critical setup node, which for Onslaught also means that you don't want to be doing two heavies in a row because then that second heavy will be guaranteed uh, critical and then you'll miss and trigger the degen on yourself. So you can see here uh, when I'm using a heavy attack I am then following that up with a un full combo that ends in either a medium or light attack. But other than that it's a very safe fight. We can easily heavy counter and heavy cancel into our specials for the extra neuro shocks. Uh, Onslaught's heavy, his range is also good enough that I believe he can consistently counter Ebony Maw's heavy. Uh, I think Chilth is the only other champion that I know of who can consistently do that, but you know the range on, on Onslaught's heavy attack is, is pretty nasty. Striker into the heavy, into the special two uh, for some degen, and that finishes off the fight. All right, up in section two, we are on path one. We have an Iron Man Infinity War here, a tactic defender on node 19 with uh, never back down and reinvigorate and unblockable. So this is dangerous because if you trigger the regen too many times by backing up, uh, then he's going to go unblockable uh, and then makes it a little bit trickier fight here. So you can see here, we're just baiting out heavies rather than reparrying, and that is to get our scythe charge up a lot faster. So. Two heavies were already at 18 hits. Now we can basically just go ham on him. And then the other thing that I'm going to do here is block the blasts from the special one rather than dex them. Again, we have to dex the initial part of the special one because it's unblockable, but the uh, the blast, the repulsor blasts are not unblockable. Uh, so we can safely just block those. And again, that's just trying not to, to trigger too many of those uh, regens on him uh, in an effort to keep him from going unblockable. Uh, other than that, we are failing his armor ups from generating uh, with our defensive ability accuracy reduction, which then allows our bleeds to stick, uh, as you can see here. Uh, and that will also fail uh, the armors, I think, from the signature ability when we bring him below 15%. But even if he does get some armors, at that point, he, he's pretty much dead here. So uh, right there, heavy counter into the special two, unfortunately triggers an armor up, which removes our bleeds. Uh, but at this point, the fight is over because we have this, the tactic up and the sabotage, and down he goes. All right, next up, we have a Mr. Sinister on node 28. Going to go in here with Viv. Now, Viv is a great counter to Sinister in general. She's a robot champ and thus won't be getting the degens on herself when he uses multiple special ones right in a row. Uh, for this fight in particular, she is nullify immune and thus won't be triggering the buffet node. And then she has easy access to a passive heal block on her second medium, which is going to take care of the regen from arc overload and also from his natural regen on crit. Now, Viv Viv's crit rate, of course, is very low intentionally so because a lot of mutants have stuff that activates on crit but she just counters like pretty much everything he has going on here so a little bit into the fight here we've got our four dormant uh, energy bones already baiting out uh, this special one we use a shortened combo here and thus don't get the fifth energy bone but that's okay because we're going to do another five hit combo before we start our special one sequence anyways bait out that special one full five hit combo to get our fifth energy bone and then from here Shortened combo to make sure he's still under bar of power. Fire off special ones, and it only takes two of them uh, to get him down. So we've been chasing that perfect Viv Vision fight all season. Finally get it there. Really, really pleased with how that one went. 
Okay, up on the third mini boss island, we have a Weapon X on Hazard Shift that we're going to be using Onslaught for. He is fully resistant to the incinerates and the shocks and the bleeds if we are to get hit uh, by Weapon X. Uh, so right here, I am not expecting him to use his heavy uh, because my parry fails there, unfortunately. And uh, right here, I stupidly try to punish his special one. So there we go. He, he does a full 5-hit combo on us. We are down to 40% health. I fire off the special one and uh, just trying to kind of reset myself here because I was really not expecting to take that much damage that quickly in the fight. So from here, we're just kind of uh, cycling through his special attacks. He is regenerating the hit damage, but obviously he cannot regen any of the dot. So we are able to uh, fire off our special two, get some nice degen there. Uh, I was probably too panicked to try and heavy counter into the special two, which probably would have ended the fight a lot faster. Uh, but I was, again, just really trying to reset here. And uh, our degens have fallen off because of, obviously we didn't get any of the pauses off. We're getting a bunch of Neuros from the node via the Incinerates and the Shocks. Here I finally get to uh, Striker, Heavy Cancel, into the Special 2, which it gives us a nice amount of degens, and they start paused. And uh, at this point, the fight is, is pretty much over here. So we're going to bait up the Special 2 here. The degens are going to fall off because I decided not to Heavy Counter after his Special Attack, and then another combo finishes him up. So a little dangerous at the start there, but we're able to recover uh, pretty easily. Alright, last fight of the war for me is a dust on node 48 with Conflictor. Now on paper this is an easier fight than the dust that we usually see on 4B. We can avoid Conflictor uh, because we don't really need to parry in this fight. We'll still be giving her those impact charges uh, from the Prowess Puncture node. Right at the start here I accidentally hit into her block so we get some sand on us right away. Uh, but, you know, I'm not really worried about it. I've already gotten my perfect Viv fight for the season, so we just need to kind of get out of here uh, with a win. I think I had a couple uh, phase slash parry fails in this fight. One of them, I think, was at the start, and then we have a really bad one coming up here. Uh, so right here, we're going to get our fifth energy Vone here right into the special two, and now we're kind of locked and loaded for our special one spam. Get a bait out this special one here. And uh, after this special one, I full combo and then I fail to realize that I have my special one ready and she is still below a bar of power. So we're going to full combo here and right here I should have started my special one spam. Instead I get a parry fail, she uh, hits right through my block somehow and uh, removes my indestructible which pushes me over two bars of power again. So now I have to once again dump my power with another special two and then work my way back up to the special one spam. So there's another parry slash phase fail and uh, now she spins up a sandstorm and I'm cornered. Uh, so at this point I'm just hoping like not to die from the sandstorm because there's no way to avoid it since it's full screen. So all of this could have been prevented if I would have recognized that she was under a bar of power like one minute ago. Uh, so finally, with Sandstorm ends, we're still alive, and then we're just going to repeatedly special intercept with the special one, and we do get out of here with a solo. But that was a, uh, a really, really dangerous fight. Probably the closest I've been to dying uh, all season. We did come away from this one with the win. Massive respect to AOH, and I want to give a big shout out to a couple of friends I have playing over there, Aiden and Grass and Joey. Six kills, zero deaths for me this war, and our pristine record remains intact for another day at 10-0. I talked a bit at the start of this video about how if we won this war, and if the fourth place alliance, which I believe was LVT, lost their war, we would be locked into podium. That did end up happening, so with two wars left to go, we are guaranteed no lower than a third place finish, which is pretty remarkable. And uh, GT opens up for us in war number 11, so I'm assuming we will get matched up against them, which means we'll have a legitimate chance to go uh, for war champions, so we'll see what happens with that. In any case, if you enjoyed this video, please let me know by hitting that like button, and as always, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you again next time.